how much of the capacity of the capacity increase is real <laughs> uh, and says that he's observed uh, a lot of physical space coming available, but major issues uh, with with uh, human resources and and uh, getting people into those facilities. Does does anyone have any 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 read on that? Perhaps not, but but I'll ask it uh, anyways. Yeah, yeah, Lewis, I, I've seen that. So I visit a lot of CDMOs of all types, not just biologics, but all types. And across the board, analytical is an issue. I completely agree with Steve with getting enough talent in there and the right talent in there. And there is a burnout factor with that because of the pressure that's being put on the folks who are available for that. Uh, there are other supporting uh, positions too that uh, I've seen a decrease in the number of people and or a lack of being able to get the the experienced people. And that's, uh, you know, some of the quality organizations that support both manufacturing and the analytical folks having enough people in there to do that. Uh, interestingly, uh, I found in some of the CDMOs that are located in, shall we say, the non-traditional areas, uh, places where you don't think bio immediately, they seem to be having a little easier time, at least in my very limited experiences, not a scientific poll or anything, uh, which I thought was really interesting. It, it always seemed to be the other way around. Uh, they just wouldn't have talented people in those areas outside of uh, the, the standard areas that you think about when you think about, you know, pharmaceuticals and biologics. Um, so I, I think it's the analytical is probably the worst uh, of them that I've seen, but then there's these support organizations for them and even getting the talent to, uh, especially here in the Boston area, getting the talent to even operate. Um, in my last position for a company, we had a lot of difficulty finding um, operators to just go in and, and operate the facility. Uh, and, you know, here we are in Boston where the talent pool is you know, highly educated, and there's a lot of people around, and it's one of the centers of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah, Ted, I'm actually not surprised by what you find um, in those what you say non-traditional locations. Um, my guess is that from a macroeconomic perspective, folks really, you know, there aren't that many uh, competing opportunities, and uh, for for individuals who don't want to relocate to maybe one of those traditional hotspots, um, staying in that location is maybe more important than. Uh, other considerations to, to um, you know, I guess persisting in their their current roles. So, whereas as you say, right, Boston is such a hot spot that uh, you know the turnover might be much higher between organizations because it's so easy to find uh, a role. I just want to add feedback comment on in this case I call it talent retention because. If I compare our facility that's located in Massachusetts versus our internal facility located in Missouri, it is so much harder to retain talent in Massachusetts because I guess it's a comp competitive world, right? So we, we can easily hire, but then these people do not stay long enough. It's sometimes I feel like it's enough so they can have the in their CV that they have worked at Pfizer for a few months, but then they move on to other smaller biotech companies in the Massachusetts area. Perhaps maybe they get more salary. I don't know, but you know, it's it's like we we become more of a training ground than than anything, and that's mm -hmm. quite difficult. Even if we have expanded our facilities, but then there's not enough people to run it. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, recently did an editorial fi where there was kind of the the opposite uh, uh, effect where CDMOs were saying that nowadays they felt like they were the training grounds that people now recognize they can go to a CDMO, work on all these different projects, get all this experience, and then uh, move to move to a, a biopharma sponsor. So it seems to work both ways. In fact, one editorial was titled, uh, is it good policy to hire away from your CDMO? Uh, so, so yeah, this, this topic of uh, employee 
retention, the great, uh, you know, people just leaving jobs, not not being in the workforce, why uh, rising wages? Yeah, we could go on this one for a long time.